Welcome to Digital Learning, an initiative of Directorate of Collegiate Education, Government of Karnataka. The Liar, a short story by Mulkraj Anand, is prescribed for General English, third semester BCom, Bengaluru North University. I am Nandana NG, Assistant Professor of English, Government First Grade College, Bagipalli. The Liar, a short story by Mulkraj Anand. Let us have a look at the contents of the session. Uh, as expected, we will first have a recapitulation of the previous knowledge. We will try to ascertain what is it that, they have, that we have learned in the course of the previous sessions and then we will proceed to learning objectives which will state the learning objectives or what is it that the session tries to achieve. At the end of the session, the student can look forward to certain outcomes that would come under session outcomes and then we will also have a recapitulation or discussion of the entire lesson. Uh, in fact, most of the important questions from the exam point of view are also discussed and then once more we will have a small multiple choice question session to assess our knowledge of the session. Recap of previous knowledge. In the previous sessions pertaining to this lesson, The Liar, written by Mulkraj Anand, in the first session, the introduction to the author and introduction to the lesson was dealt in detail and then the uh, second session concentrated on the setting of the story and the time frame in which the story was set. As I had mentioned before, Mulkraj Anand was born in 1905 and he started writing during the pre-independence period. So, the story reflects the society that was prevalent before independence and how the influence of uh, Britishers can be seen there, the hierarchical uh, uh, authority or uh, the caste discrimination that was prevalent, all these things that could be seen in the society were reflected in Mukraj Anand's works. And in the next session, uh, the plot of the story was discussed the elements of the story were discussed and in another session the characterization of both Labu and the narrator Master Anand were dealt in detail. In this session, uh, we will try to see uh, what were the reasons for Labu for going to uh, or why he went to Nepal or Himalayas. Uh, as we recollect, the story can be divided into two parts before Labu went to Nepal and after he comes back. So, Labu and the narrator Anand are the two prominent characters in the story. The young boy Mulkraj Anand during his childhood was friendly with a man called Labu in his village who was one of the oldest shikaris from his village. So, before uh, as he was quite friendly with Labu, Labu would give a lot of narrative stories or he would narrate a lot of stories which were very interesting to listen to, but they were more or less false in content. In the first story that he narrates to the narrate, in the first story that Labu narrates, it is about the devil ram or an apparition which was similar to a devil ram which appeared in front of him, but the story was fabulous to hear, but the young boy somehow did not believe Labu and he said that he did not believe him anymore. Upon hearing the young boy commenting or criticizing that his stories were false, somehow that uh, pricked or uh, it made an impact on the ego of Labu who refused to speak to the boy anymore. And as a result, there was a friction in the relationship of the boy and Labu and there was a long gap as Labu had accompanied Kuldeep Singh to Himalayas for a hunting expedition. So, he gives the reasons as to how he went on a trip to Nepal and Himalayas along with Kuldeep Singh and his friends and after he came back when the young boy went and approached him, he say, narrates the second story wherein he explains the reasons for the sprain in his leg. In his fictional story, he says he hunted 12 tigers, 15 panthers and many stags and that too in a course of 7 days. And on the 8th day, how in the Himalayas, their group met a devil or an apparition. In fact, it was uh, the, the most uh, horrendous description that uh, Labu can come up with. But in the story, the way he describes, except him, everybody else were trembling with fear, but he was the only one who stood up to the apparition. And while he describes the form, he says, it is with the body of a wild bear and head of a reindeer. But then Labu was the only sensible person who realized that it was not an apparition or a ghost for that matter, but it was a beautiful 
beautiful Nepalese princess who was confined by a magician for his selfish purposes. When Labu realized that it was a beautiful princess, he chanted certain incantations and transformed the uh, apparition into the beautiful princess and proposed to her. And the lady in question also smiled her acceptance. And Labu fell in love with her and tried to chase her but it was precisely at that moment that Kuldeep Singh and his uh, accomplice st started shooting at the apparition and the uh, princess ran out of fear followed by the magician. As a result, Labu had to let go of his uh, dream girl and then he says with no other choice left but to escape from the evil magician, he had jumped back home. The According to his story and according to his description, as he leapt from the Himalayas to his land in one leap, as if it is possible, as he leapt from Himalayas to his house, he had sprained his leg. The boy Anand could guess the reason for leg sprain. Labu shocked him with the doubt of a repeated story. The ending is rather um, uh, humorous in the sense the boy again falls prey to the false story of Labu wherein he says, is this the reason why you sprained your leg? While, Rabu, while Labu has a mischievous grin on his face where he says, oh have I not told you this story before? So the ending is very clear that Labu can never let go of lying. The learning objectives of this session are the to motivate the students in creating writing through the course of the story and through the morals uh, that are uh, depicted in the form of characters. The student after reading uh, the story can also help mold his, his character. The student will be exposed to the style of different types of writing stories which in turn will develop to an interest for storytelling also. And then the student can also look forward to developing the imag imaginating power which is a prerequisite of writing uh, conventional or uh, in interesting stories for that matter. Also, the student can develop interest for short story reading. Yes, more than anything, the st student should have the interest, he should be able to sustain the interest for reading the entire story. And the students can also be familiarized with the art of storytelling. At the end of the session, the students will be able to read, understand and appreciate the content of the text. It will, uh, the student will also be able to recognize the different elements of the story which in turn will help them in the art of developing a storytelling. They will also be able to write creative short stories and also an interest for folklore can be developed at the end of the session. Let us try to recapitulate the entire lesson here. Mulkraj, Mulkraj Anand is a well-known Indian writer, novelist and a short story writer. In fact, among the trinity of the Indo-Anglian fiction that is Mulkraj Anand, Raja Rao and R.K. Narayan, Mulkraj Anand is considered a pioneer. In fact, all three are considered pioneers but Mulkraj Anand is considered a pioneer in the Indo-Anglo fiction. Most of his works are popular not only in, in India but also at international level and his most prominent novel The Untouchable is popular all over the world as it depicts the caste system that was prevalent in India pre-independence. In the story The Liar, the, the prominent character or the chief character Labu is an old shikari of the village. In the physical description of the Labu states clearly that he was a thin wiry man who was more or less in his middle age. Physically he was not well built but yet he has the quickness, the agility of which was a prerequisite of a shikari. And I, coming to his characters, he was a born liar but he was a good storyteller. That is what actually had attracted the boy Anand. The narrator in the story is none other than Ulkraj Anand himself. This is an autobiographical story. The young boy Anand recollects how in his childhood he used to interact or fraternize with Labu and how Labu, Labu had taught him how to create cock and bull stories and how to escape certain difficult situations. But Though he liked Labu for his art of storytelling, yet somewhere he felt most of the stories told by Labu were uh, so creative or so out of uh, out of the world that he found it hard to believe. At one such story like the one wherein he describes the devil ram, the young boy expresses his disbelief and he says that the story is too uh, fantastic to believe. Upon hearing this, uh, the um, main character sorry the main character Labu is rather uh, taken aback because he never expected a young boy like the like uh, 
Anand to tell him on his face that he is lying. Uh, so he refuses to speak to him any further and the boy also fuming with anger returns home. There is a long gap of more than six months in which the boy and the uh, boy and Labu do not speak to each other. In the meanwhile, Labu accompanies Kuldeep Singh to the forest for a shikari and after he comes back for a long time he is not to be seen anywhere in the village. Out of curiosity the narrator goes in search of him and when he sees Labu he is taken aback as Labu is not his former self. He has lost weight and he looks ill and he is limping. Now the narrator out of his previous affection approaches him and speaks him forgetting his misunderstanding he approaches him at his old head, old hut and asks him the reason as to why he is limping. Labu also reciprocates the affection shown by the boy and he starts conversing with Anand and he narrates the second story as to what led him to get that sprain. Of course, the reader by now is familiar that all the stories told by Labu is a lie but then our narrator Anand falls for this second story also. In the second story, he creates a new story as to how he create, ended up with the leg journey. According to this story, he had gone to a trip, uh, he had gone, Labu had gone to a trip to Nepal and the Himalayas along with Kuldeep Singh and his friends. And according to the description of uh, Labu, all the friends of Kuldeep Singh and Kuldeep Singh himself were not up to the mark. They could not hold the gun, neither could they shoot at any animal, how much ever Labu tried to help them. In fact, he showed them innumerable animals but none to avail. In fact, none of the um, uh, white friends of Kuldeep or Kuldeep Singh himself could shoot even one animal for that matter. So, out of pity for them as they were losing interest in hunting, Labu takes up the responsibility and he says that in a course of 7 days, he hunted 12 tigers, 15 panthers and many stags within a span of 7 days. And on the 8th day, the second the story continues wherein he says in the Himalayas they came face to face with a devil. This apparition or the devil, the description of the devil was uh, dealt in detail in the previous session. He says that it had the body of a wild bear and the head of a reindeer and how it transformed into a beautiful princess and when Labu proposes to the princess, the lady also gives her consent through a smile and as Labu chases her, the magician who had confined her, he comes and uh, threatens to kill Labu and Labu is left with no other alternate but to jump back home. As he had took that long jump from Himalaya, he, Himalayas to home, he, were, he ended up with a leg sprain according to his version of the story and at the end we see the innocent uh, uh, reaction of the narrator wherein he says, is that how you ended up with a leg sprain? So, the story contains several false stories. So, the title, The Liar for the story is quite suitable or appropriate. Now, let us have a look at the short answer questions. These questions are uh, can be seen at the end of the lesson, the comprehension part. Short answer questions are usually for 2 marks. First question, what was Labu's defining character? Labu was the most wanted shikari. In fact, his quickness and his physical agility is the answer here. That was the defining character of Labu. The second question is uh, fill up the blank. You will have to fill up the blanks with the exact words from the text. Here it says Labu had a glint of a dash and the answer here is lance and the glide of an arrow. Third question, why was the narrator Labu's devoted follower? The answer to this question is, the narrator was Labu's devoted follower because he liked his stories or the stories told by Labu were liked by the narrator. As a result, he was a devoted follower of Labu. Fourth question, this is a true or false one. A statement is provided and you will have to say whether it is true or false. The narrator was a critical pupil, true or false. The narrator here in question is Anand, that is Mulkraj Anand as a young boy himself. Was he a very agreeing pupil or was he a critical pupil? Yes, he was the pupil of Labu. But did he agree for everything that Labu said? No. In fact, when he narrated the story of the devil ram, he directly told him on his face that it was f not true, it was false. So, the answer here is the narrator was a critical pupil, true. 
what did the subedar and his employers think of labu now this question occurs after labu is not to be seen in the village and as he has accompanied kuldeep singh he is not in the vicinity anymore at that point there is a long gap of more than 6 months and on the entire village ends up talking about labu and what were all the opinions coming forth there what did the subedar and his employers think of labu according to subedar and the employers labu was a boaster and a liar and he was not good at his shikari also now the sixth question is why was labu limping according to the story labu narrated he leapt from the himalayas to his home back and as a result he sprained his leg that is why labu was limping the last question the narrator respected labu as a storyteller a liar a shikari or soldier yes uh, here we can see that the narrator that is anand he respected labu as a storyteller that is the correct answer paragraph answer questions the form the second part of the comprehension these are for 5 marks remember when you are writing the 5 mark question answers you will have to write at least a page worth of content there so for both the 5 and the 10 mark essay answers please follow the pattern of a introduction the main answer in small two or three paragraphs and last one conclusion the first question here is describe labu before directly venturing into the description of labu write two lines of introduction how the liar is a short story written by mulkraj anand and how mulkraj anand is a pioneer of anglo indian fiction these two lines can constitute as the introduction for all the question answers pertaining to this lesson and next you can start describing labu his physical characteristics how he was thin and lean but yet he was wiry his face was weather beaten it showed that he had spent a lot of time outdoors and how he was very quick and agile and how he was a very uh, very good shikari or as it was talked about him added to this was his uh, characteristic trait of lying he was a great storyteller but he was also a liar so all these points you can write it in the form of two paragraphs and in the last a conclusion these are the characteristics of labu likewise second question provide a character analysis of the narrator the again the introduction two lines of introduction now the narrator here is mulkraj anand himself or the enga version of mulkraj anand you can write about how mulkraj anand or the enga version of mulkraj anand that is anand the boy how he grew up in village and then that fraternizing or the part where he used to go around the entire village and how he used to be very friendly with everyone all these things you can write about and how he looked up to labu how labu had developed a friendship with the boy though uh, la, he, he in fact in one instance uh, the narrator mentions that though labu belongs to a, a lower caste yet whenever he Um, uh, spoke to labu and went home the mother did not insist on him taking bath regularly as she too had a bit of fondness for La labu as he was a great storyteller you can write about all these points you can also write that how the narrator was a rather critical pupil he did not accept everything that labu told him yes he uh, he he had learned how to lie from labu but then when he told all those uh, fictitious stories he did not believe him and he directly told him the third question what did labu think of kuldeep singh and his friends uh, according to labu he says when he went to himalayas uh, to nepal for the expedition kuldeep singh and his friends were not up to the mark how much ever labu was encouraging how much ever he tried to show various animals all kuldeep singh and his friends had to do was just shoot shoot at the animal but that too they could not do so according to labu kuldeep singh and his friends were not up to the mark what explanation was given by labu when the narrator asked him about his limp here you will have to write about the second story that labu narrates the one story wherein he says a monstrous apparition appeared which was in fact a nepali princess yes this story you will have to write about here and how in the end he says to escape the magician evil magician he jumped from himalaya to his village as as a result he got the limp Now the fifth question recount any one story told by Labu which impressed the narrator so as i have been time, telling time and again there are two stories prominent stories here in this 
lesson told as told by Labu. The first story is about the evil ram, the entire description you will have to write or the second story wherein it describes the evil monster which was none other than a Nepali princess. Any one of the story which was told by Labu. So, make sure either one of it use the phrases that are depicted or given in the text to uh, add weightage to your answers. Coming to essay answer questions for 10 marks you will have to write at least 2 pages worth of answer again follow the same format of an introduction a middle and a conclusion. The main answer can be put in more 2 or 3 uh, paragraphs. The first question how does the story portray caste discrimination? You can mention the uh, certain sentences here in the story wherein the narrator says how caste discrimination was prevalent in the village, how Lavu belonged to a lower caste and how uh, though the narrator belonged to a upper caste the family was not that rigid when it came to Lavu. All these certain instances can be given here. Explain the concept of beauty utilized in the story. You will have to write about the both the stories written by sorry described by Labu and how to describe uh, the princess what were all the phrases used in the story. The third question is the most important one that you can expect in the exams. Storytelling in a, is an art, how is this brought out in the lesson? In fact, if storytelling is an art then Labu is an artist for that matter. You can narrate both the stories or any one of the stories as Labu has narrated it in the course of the lesson, the one story about the evil ram or the other story about the Nepali princess and uh, try using the relevant phrases from the text to add authenticity to your lessons. Coming to multiple choice questions, Mulkraj Anand gained international award, leadership, le readership or guideship and the answer is Answer C, Mulkraj Anand gained international readership. Second question, Deep Singh is a village man, magician, collector or a subedar? And the answer is option D, Deep Singh is a subedar. Labu went to dash on a hunting trip, Himalayas, Thar Desert, Forest Area or the Arabic Ocean. The answer is option A, Himalayas. Labu transformed the devil into dash, goat with two heads, princess of Nepal, cat with a lion head or dog with a man's body. The answer is option B, princess of Nepal. The last question, Labu with all his false stories is proved as dash, good liar, new hero, subedar or a good hunter. The answer is obviously Labu with all his false stories is proved as a good liar. The sources and references used for this session 